In order to use the sensattach JavaScript library, we need to include within our HTML code the script element that refers the JavaScript file, the sensattach library, as well as a link element for using the sensattach CSS file. Once we have these two lines, we can develop a basic sensattach application. The first would be to instantiate the x.application uh, class. Well, as you probably know, we don't really have classes in JavaScript, but we can um, imagine as if it was a class and now we instantiate it. Bottom line, we just need to create the x.application object and pass over an object with key value pairs, in this case with the property launch that its value is a function we want to execute when the application starts. In this case I pass over an anonymous function that its code include uh, instantiation of x.panel, an object that represents a panel we want to display on screen. And I pass over to the constructor, so-called constructor. As you know, we don't really have constructors in JavaScript. It is just um, a better way, a, a, a simpler way to explain what we do. So we instantiate x.panel passing over an object that configure the new panel and in this case the object includes two properties full screen meaning that we want the panel to span over the screen the entire screen and the HTML property saying that we want the panel to include this simple HTML code Bottom line, if we try to execute this uh, code sample, this is the output.